Hello and welcome to Swift Goose. Today we're going to look at everything new in Xcode 13 beta. The beta is currently available for you to download at developer.apple.com slash downloads. And I'll put the links for today's video in the description below. To find a full list of everything new in Xcode 13, you can go to developer.apple.com slash Xcode. First thing you'll notice when you download and install the Xcode beta is that the icons look different now. So here I have Xcode beta 13 and they actually look pretty nice. And the next thing they've added is the new cloud tab in the report navigator shows Xcode cloud. So if we come up here, click the report tab, and then we have this cloud available. And you'll see that wasn't available in Xcode 12. So if I click on cloud, first you have to sign in with your Apple ID to actually get this here. And then when you click on create workflow, I'll get an error because I don't have Xcode cloud at the moment. Now going back to Apple's documentation, Xcode Cloud allows you to build, test, and deliver all of your apps using cloud-based tools built right into Xcode. So the idea is that this is going to be like a CI, CD pipeline for your apps. It'll be interesting to see exactly how much time this winds up saving and also how much Apple charges when they do release this to the public. For source control, Xcode has also added a neat code review mode which basically includes a new line difference mode that lets you view differences without leaving your current context, according to Apple's documentation. So let's go to our view controller. We'll add a print statement here, and we'll just say print time to choose Mr. Freeman. Now in our original Xcode 12, it would look something like this. You just see the blue bar and whatever changes were made. But if you come up to view, you can click on show code review. And now you get these highlights which show what exactly has changed. So let's extract this print statement to a, a separate class. So that we can just call printer.printThis. Xcode 13 also gives you the ability to create pull requests. So if we go to our source control tab, we can click on create pull request. And now we can title it to be first pull request. And we'll just say this is a test. You can add additional reviewers. And then you can click this down arrow to either view on GitHub or delete your pull request. For now, let's just delete our pull request. Delete. Let's go back to the developer documentation. And you can see that Xcode is also allowed for repeated testing to let you run your tests until they fail. In the State of the Union keynote, they basically ran a test on one of their apps 100 times with a 92% failure rate. So it seems pretty useful to be able to test on unreliable apps. The last nice thing is that Swift code completion is faster and more robust, and syntax highlighting is faster and more reliable. So you'll have faster compile times when using Xcode 13. If you want to download the beta, you can just click this download beta up here, and it will take you to their page where you can download Xcode 13 beta and one thing to note is that you need to be on at least macOS Big Sur 11.3 to download and install Xcode 13 beta. If you try to install it on Big Sur 11.2.3 like I did, you'll get an error saying that it has to be at least Xcode 11.3. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the dinner bell to be notified of the next video. Thanks for watching.